let's see what states are in react in this video as i said properties are just attributes we define them and assign some values to them on the other hand states are a set of dynamic variables which tend to change and states are the ones which are responsible to drive and render the ui dynamically based on the data let's quickly look into an example let's say based on some action this value gets changed and this value gets changed so that should bring you to a conclusion that these reside in a state so let's quickly declare the state called name and description for the company element we initialize all the states in the constructor of a class every class or a component has a constructor and you always need to call super to call the constructor of the react component just like properties states would be defined in this dot state this is an object in which we can define any number of states or dynamic variables of any type it can be a number boolean array object it can just be anything in this case let's create two states called name and description name state let's call it google and then description state let's call it web search all right how do we assign these two values here well it's simple within curly braces type in this dot state dot name state same thing with the description as well If you want to create an array of companies dynamically based on states you can do that as well for that let's create a state called companies which would be an array all right and this array has different companies let's call it name disk web search next company would be let's say infosys description is it services now what we have to do here is we have to loop through the company's array and render the company element so basically we want to show two companies on the screen so how we do that is within curly braces so call it this dot state dot companies so this is the array which has 
to company objects to iterate each of the item in the array you can use dot map this will iterate through each item and call a function and it gives us one company item at a time and let's call it company item you can also get an index of each item and this would then return a custom element called company name would be company item dot name which is this first time it will take this as the company item next time it will take this as the company item then this could be company item dot disk close it then save there seems to be an error looks like this semicolon is not needed let's take it out save it refresh so there it is so you are driving the UI based on data and which are basically states you would usually get this message saying that each react element while driven dynamically should have a property or attribute called key which should be unique so in this case generally from server side data you may get id like company ID something like that if you don't have it you have the index and that is what you can give as a key this is a built-in attribute for any react custom react component All right save it refresh and the error should be gone so that's how states work in react we'll look into this in more detail when we build an example application all right Stay tuned and subscribe. Cheers.